Alan and David. Yo. So, last episode was an interesting one. Qualifying was dry, race was wet as you saw, and Alan crashed out. And for once, Chris actually made the whole race. <laughs> so we're he in had for... that He had that many penalties, he spent more time in the stewards' office than the stewards, but he made it. Probably. Yeah. See, I don't know what sort of strategy to do with friends. I don't know whether to medium it or soft it first. Hey, hey, hey. Funny. <laughs> I don't know. I really don't know how to decide this one. We have to decide fairly fast. Yeah, I don't know. I'm waiting for you, anyways. So it's like pissing me down for qualifying. <sighs> don't. I waited till after it had loaded before I said anything this time <laughs> to be sure. No. C3, C4, C3, and C2. Here we go Ooh, from... It's a bit dark. Oh, dawn. It's not wet, but it's a bit... It's looking a bit overcast. Hmm. Bollards! <laughs> yeah, I'm not expecting... Anything Epileptics, you may not want to watch this one. This track is a bit vomit inducing. <laughs> I... I really. I don't know. I don't know what it is with France. I just. It's really just. What, the track or France in general? <laughs> no, this track. <laughs> this track is just. It's too plain. It's not special. Oh, it's but, bloody special, all right. But then, like I said, it's a bit like um, Russia. Mm. Oh. So what's getting taken out? What's getting taken out then? If Dutch Grand Prix coming in then. Is France actually getting removed? Is in Germany. I don't know, I'll have to have a look on the um, calendar I think we've quickly. Lost, we've lost Germany, haven't we? I'll have a look on the calendar. Which is annoying, because that was probably one of the best races of last season. Yeah. That last corner just screwed me up a little, I bet. Ooh, Alan got me. I got 12. Come second. I got 12, so... Uh, where is... Oh, look at that gap, Alan. Mm. So next year we've got Australia, Bahrain, Vietnam, China, Netherlands, Spain, Monaco, Azerbaijan, Canada, France, and Great. Austria... Great Britain, Hungary, Belgium, Italy, Singapore, Russia, Japan, United States, Mexico, Brazil, and Abu Dhabi. I was right then, because didn't you say Germany? Yeah, no, we looks like we've lost Germany then. So. Ah. <sighs> See, Alan beat me by 0 0.08 of a second, but I was on the slower tide. Mm. I'm bang smack in the middle of the grid here. Well, you'll be bang smacking into a lot of things knowing you, so... I'm going to try not to. See, it wants me to do that and that, <coughs> so... That's fine, at least it's not a... At least it's not a... Have a look. A wet race. Oh, it's not giving me a lot of extra fuel there. No, I'm bumping up a little bit, just a little bit. Oh. Interesting strategy. We'll see how it pans out.
That was a long, that's a long red. Getting swamped, gonna get swamped. How did I come out of all of that in first? No you idea. Ran, you cheated half the corners. <laughs> <laughs> the game didn't have any issue with what I did. I was just avoiding accidents for the majority of it. Oh, 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 I had a clown to the left of you, a joker to the right. I've got Kaufman, what's the gearbox? <laughs> Yeah, Alan, that was a bit. <laughs> Is it making you give that place back? Nope. Jesus. You fall over that far off the track, you had to buy a ticket for the stand. This corner I don't like for some reason, I just can't. Yeah, it's not a good one to judge that one. Because it just takes the speed, it takes way too much speed out of you. Yeah. It's a bit like the, that corner is a bit like the Chinese first corner. Yeah. You never quite feel where to judge, where to gauge it. Yeah. Front wing already. No. Oh, the way you said fine, I thought you were. No, I was just checking my uh, pit stop window. to break hard then. Yeah, no, I totally fluffed the line into that corner and had to had to reevaluate my life. Having you behind me slightly scarier than Chris because at least me and Chris I don't think have actually ever collided whereas you have taken me out before. <laughs> okay. I thought you were taking that fast shot back off me immediately. I would have done if I hadn't have had some of brakes on earlier on. <laughs> anyway, who calls that yellow? It wasn't Chris, was it? No. I just wish I was yellow further back. Alex Murray's out of. Not Al Murray. Yeah. <laughs> you know, there's a car out back on that. Oh, that's going to be the time we get around there. Alex is in a nice little position. Given me a lot of options here, Mikaletsky. You. 
That'll do, because if I'm going to get, if I'll get DRS from you, that'll do me just fine and nice. <laughs> oh, surprise, I got fast as well, but I had a scrappy middle sector. The same here, I got a 139.5 on that lap. Oh, so you weren't far behind me? No. Oh, so you weren't far behind me? No. If you've any second, and even if I win you for second, I'm not exactly going to take a massive chunk out of your lead. No. And I need DNF again, really. <laughs> that close things right up. No, I'm not talking to you. I should have paused. Possibly... This yellow thing goes flying into my face. <laughs> oh, it didn't. <laughs> oh, he stopped blowing holes in my ship. <laughs> <laughs> Could have been doing a bit of Felipe Massa there, isn't it? <laughs> isn't it? It's <laughs> in this yellow flat thing of things. Well, at least it didn't T bone you like it did me. <laughs> Yet. Yeah, but he T-boned you and managed to get you a penalty for it. That was the best bit. I know. It takes real skill to do that. I didn't even realise they had fastest lap. <laughs> No, that I'm apparently I'm creating a bit of breathing space between me and the car behind. Hang on a second, there's a car behind you? Yeah. You in third? I was. No. What? Yeah. How you got up that high? I am, this is, well, <laughs> I'm, in, I'm in fourth at the moment, but I'm actually, yeah. <laughs> Um, hi, yes. can I get hang a weather on, forecast on. for hell, please? <laughs> <laughs> Does that mean all three of us could end up on the... Yep. Don't say it, don't say it, don't, don't, don't say it, don't say it. Don't say it just yet, but... They're... That'd be up with me there saying it's going to rain. Oh, please don't, because it might, looking at the sky. Ladies and gentlemen, take note, take screenshots. Chris is screen with a single figure position. <laughs> I actually did. That wasn't bad off, like, off the start. I got pretty good and just been getting my way, I like, up here. Did Alan just balls up the last corner? 
Um, <laughs> no. Has he gone into the pits? Uh huh. Why? Okay. He's fine. only on soft, wasn't he? No, I've just balls up because of you, Jeff. Thanks. <sighs> Starting to lose a little bit of grip. Kaufman. Oh, my, my meetings piss. are nice. Kaufman, piss off. What are you getting, Chris, uh, Alan Mahabs? Yep. So you're going to the end. Okay, time is still looking good, Nick. Let's keep them that way for as long as we can. Oh, Kaufman just got second. It does tell me I've got another pet to do, but it's where I'll take it. Oh, that's fair enough. Because of those hards will get you there. Chris and Kaufman are having a hell of a ding dong about there. Just a little bit. I can just see the names swapping places. What was it you come back out in, Alan? Come out in 11. Fair enough. But I'm now up to 8. Apparently, I found in my head that if I pitted now, I would still come out in second. Fair enough. So that means literally Chris would get past me and nobody else. Sorry, I was, I was struggling to grasp this concept of Chris <coughs> in second. I know. And there'll be more than two cars on the field. This is where he wins the championship this year due to a rally starting now. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, Jeff, this is just a done gone, okay, you're in the top ten. Yeah, I know. It's like, what's that nugget of information that he used to? <laughs> Alan's back in third. Because a lot pitted. Why, who's a lot? <laughs> oh, Alan took an early pit stop then, even compared to the air on the same tyres. Hmm. As I'm told. <coughs> Performing the undercut. Please tell me you're both still there. Yeah, why? It's just had a connecting with servers, that was all. Oh, I get that in the top of the corner occasionally, just not in the middle. Chris, you're still there, aren't you? Yep, I'm sorry. Yeah, no, mine was in the top 
left hand corner. Yeah, I see that. Okay, because it did it, last time it did that. So you got it across the middle of the screen, didn't it? Yeah, I have. Well, that was bar A where you actually got it across the middle. Oh, yeah. I've just got it now communicating. Yeah, so have I. But the last time you did that, it kicked you out. Alright. Uh, I see that probably a couple of times a race. To be honest with you, I don't actually really look. No, I, I don't look up there unless I have to catch them here. I told you, last race, I suddenly looked up and was like, shit, we're running out of laps. Yeah. <laughs> I was just, you know, head down. Yeah, I'm taking chunks of time, are huh, Chris? Yeah, I know he is. Yeah, but I think obviously you guys have got it set up for faster speed. No, I have a mental unbalanced. Ah. I dared just in case the game decided to <laughs> wet it. Play silly beggars with us yeah. again. I'm just trying to eat these tyres out because I'm going to be coming out on the same set of tyres as Alan. But if mine are like 10 laps newer, mm, I should yeah. also have an advantage. See, it really stuck me on a three stop, uh, two stop strategy. Mm. But I didn't like that idea, so I've just changed it myself to the one stop. Yeah. And hope it pays off. Oh, I, I always had two stop, but then I got a new strategy option about the time you pitted. I thought it was going there, but it was actually wanting me to add another extra couple of laps to this stint. about now Chris was still doing 25% with base distances. No, not really. Well, you'd be on track if any second could be about done by now. Yeah, <clears throat> but... Got to make it a bit more interesting for us. I'd be just glad you're not doing 100% race distance. This oh, track, yeah. this track I would be, me. I'd be starting to lose my mind. To be fair, I couldn't have got work tomorrow. Yeah, I know. <laughs> it's just friggin' pit lane. Yeah, that's the other thing that's worrying me. I remember this pit lane entrance is a bastard. Yeah, it's... I'm not bothered about Alan just passing me there. Exit, exit now. That'll do. As long as I can get out quicker and get going. Come on, come on, come on game, come on don't drop me back, don't drop me back, don't drop me back, get speed, 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 speed. See these tyres through to the end now. Oh, that was lucky. Oof. Holy crap that was close, he could have wiped me out. Hey, don't worry, next time his aim will improve. <laughs> it's getting a bit uh, dark. I've asked for a weather report and they said there's nothing on the radar. So oh, that's alright then. I asked for one before. Yeah, you're closing the door on me, you little son of a bitch. But, uh, Hang on a second, they've actually moved the pit lane entrance this year, haven't they? 
Yeah. It's just a bit. It of a... used to be. It used to be off the last corner, like a ninety degree. I'm sure. Oops. I don't know if it's that far went for a pit stop. What the hell? Yellow flag, green flag, yellow flag, green flag. What the hell is going on? Oh, we've Marshall's got a dead. A we've got a dead car. Yeah, we've got a dead car. A red car. Have you seen any of the adverts for this, like, Grand Tour Seaman thing? Sea... Men... No. Yeah, well, I haven't when my dad saw so it's Friday the 13th, innit? I don't know. It's <laughs> out, yeah. Yeah, I don't know. I've seen a little bit of it, it looks... It's all of, like, the trailer or whatever it was, but it looked quite interesting. Of course it is, it's them three idiots. Yeah. <laughs> But wow, this is a slow bit lane. Oh yeah. I feel like I'll get out and walk faster. Is Alan gonna get past you though? No. I doubt it. I was like twenty odd seconds clear. Plus, like I say, my tyres have got quite a few laps on these. How much extra fuel you got? Just over two laps. I've right, just got just on the... I put it up to 30 laps at the beginning. Mm. Yeah, I put it up. They reckon these tyres will go to the end. Good, good. I know mine will. To be honest, I'm at the point if we didn't have to do the two compounds, I'd probably throw mediums on again, but... I'm tempted to just stick a, stick a set of softs on. <laughs> you already pitted one, haven't you? Yeah. So the second pit stop was just because of totally knackered. You, your quickest way will always be to stay on these tyres because you're going to lose like 30 seconds yeah, to a pit stop. And if I, was I to pit, really if I was to pit again anyways, I'd be back in eighth. So there's no point. I only really did them set of softs in the last race because I was 40 seconds clear and I didn't want you up my gearbox anymore. It was a good excuse to get out of the way. I'm not complaining. You're helping me, to a point. To a degree, you did help me. <laughs> so... I'm not exactly complaining, apart from you jinxed it for this wet weather, but... <laughs> <laughs> kind of glad France wasn't a, this one wasn't a wet race because this would have just been hell. Well, no, it wouldn't because you got that much runoff, you'd have never hit anything. Well, yeah. true. If you just, it actually would have been hell because you'd never know to finish the race because you just slid off the track and nothing had ever stopped you. Yeah. <laughs> you laughing at? <sighs> Come here, Alan. Let me get six seconds ahead of you. Six seconds in the distance Why? of you. Why? You got a six-second time penalty. <laughs> I know. How have you managed that one? 
Yeah, that's what I'd six, like to do. Hang on, six seconds? What are you all about? You got three? No, you got six seconds. According to, Jeff, according to Jeff, you've got six seconds and your tyres are like eight laps old. No, I've got a three second time panel, that's it. So I only have the one. According to Jeff, you're on six. So we'll see at the end of the race. What the hell? <laughs> well, you two are bickering over time penalties. <laughs> I'm just gonna check out. Goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> we'll check the race director at the end of the race. But. Oop, I've just got a three second time penalty. Corner cutting. But uh, exceeding track limits, so yes, in a different term. Uh, I think most of mine were running wide, not cutting corners. I think some. I don't get how they judge this whole as eating trap limits crap. I really don't. Because sometimes... Basically, it, it, they only do it at certain points on the track where I think it is if all four wheels come over the white line, isn't it, how they judge yeah. it? Yeah. Mm. Because they had a big thing about it, America, didn't they, around the last corner? Hmm. Basically, so trying to stop places where you would actually gain an advantage by just keeping your foot in and running wide. Uh, what, you mean like last year with Max? Yeah. Jesus Christ, Sungler. I guess you're going around start finish straight oh. now. It's a bit harsh, that, isn't it, Alan? Yeah. That's not good. <laughs> you see what I mean? Yeah. Hey, much better going down the start straight, though. No. It's not much better anyway. Oh. It's actually quite bad in the first corner. Yeah, a lot of places it's getting not pleasant. I don't know, are you actually are you looking forward to like season four then? Or series four or whatever? What grand tour? Hmm. Well yeah. there's not gonna be a full series anymore, is it? All they're gonna do is the specials, they're not doing the No. Yeah, no. Yeah, the, the, uh, sometimes the specials are the best part of it. Oh yeah. They're also filming us some more Top Gear, but they've kept that quiet because I think what Grand Tour is going on Top Gear just took under the radar and <laughs> Trying to show the faces. Yeah. To be fair, that last series with Flintoff and Co. wasn't bad. It's been a lot better since Chris Evans left. Well, who is it now? Uh, Freddie Flintoff, uh, Paddy McGuinness, and that Chris, the one who was been in it since the reboot. The YouTuber. Oh, okay. Well, what happened with. Cause one Those three it. seem to really work well together, though. I was going to yeah. say, because wasn't Thingy in it. Of course, yeah, it's two northerners. Yeah. One it, um... Because <laughs> LeBlanc was in it at one point, wasn't he? Aye, Matt LeBlanc, he'll need one series. But, I don't know, like I said, I've not watched Top Gear since... Since then... Since then, I recorded that whole last. I recorded that whole last series. And I sat and watched it over about three nights, and it actually really wasn't bad. Yeah, but Top Gear's. Sorry to say, it's run its course a little bit. It was I... BBC did this years ago, didn't it? They sat Clarks and it died. They sold it to Channel Five, and he became fifth gear. And for a few years, they rebooted it by bringing Clarkson back. Yeah. <laughs> mm. 
I don't think they're going to manage that trick again somehow. Well, like I say, I don't, I don't mind fifth gear because I don't mind. Um, I don't think fifth gear in. I don't ages. mind. There's, well, there's, there's um. Oh god, what the friggin' aren't you call them? Quinton. Who? What about well, Quinton? Last time you it was Quinton Wilson, Jason Plato, and Vicky Butler Henderson. It's Vicky. No, Jason Plato's just a two. Plato. Guy, so he's just a grade A nutter. Yeah, it's Plato, <laughs> Vicky, Tiff Nadell. Alright, oh, Tiff was always. Um. Jason Plato's Somebody... not too busy sliding an, an area lat around Jim's mind's estate. Um. Who else is it? Oh, there's a foreign guy, but I can't remember who it is. Um, How many and, presenters do you want your need? And they also have... Uh, oh, I forget his fucking name. Oh, he, was, he did gob, uh, Goblin Works Garage and... Is, no it, Jimmy, any of is those. it Jimmy DeVille or something like that? No idea on that one, I'm afraid. He's quite a... Like I say, he's quite a car nut, but he's more an engine nut. He's more of an mm. engine kind of guy, but it does... His section is actually quite good, because I think he took... Last episode I saw, he took a Golf and basically just ripped its engine out, did another engine in it, and, you know, he was sort of messing around with it and oh, making right. it... He's, he's that sort of... Guy, but no, he's he's good because he makes me he makes me laugh. I don't like to say I don't mind watching Fifth Gear. I'm not going to have seen it in years, but I mean, you've already got a good mission. I mean, Plato and Nidella are both touring car drivers, so they're just 24 car idiots. Yeah. <laughs> you know which touring car drivers are? The special Cause was, breed. Because I was watching one of them where there was uh, Plato and the other guy that I can't remember his name of, not Jimmy DeVille, the other guy, um, they were, for some reason, bizarrely, they were testing, like, not, like, the the old, you know, the small-style camper vans, or vans that have, you know, the vans yeah. that they've put into campers, well, they were testing them, one of them, actually, no, one of, uh, Plato was in a Merc, he was in a Merc, like, camper thing, and the other guy was towing a caravan, and, <laughs> It, they were somewhere in like Yorkshire or whatever, and it was, oh, it was just hilarious. <laughs> what was she? Was Vicky? Was she a? Was she a race? She a race Wasn't driver? Wasn't her brother a racing driver or something like that? I am uh, really sorry. I'd have to look it up. I think he's called Ollie Henderson, I'm sure he was a touring car driver or something like that. Name the song. She does, she's quite nuts as well, for some bizarre reason on there. Well, she was obviously from the original Top Gear line, up her and Tiffany Dell were part of her. Mm. Well, I've caught a back marker and it's not Chris. I'm still in third. I know, I'm just I'm slightly shocked at the situation. <laughs> and Alan can verify that. I can, I can see it on my screen. <laughs> you're like I... 30 seconds behind, but you're still well, there. I'm, yeah, I'm still here. I'm having quite a good race. Which is weird, because it's France. And France... And just... now you've just said that, you'll be out in three corners. No, I won't I can actually, I can actually pay it. And be out in front of him. Sorry. Yeah. Yeah, I know. Well, Alan probably put his on top speed. No. And did I haven't. It, did you put your extra fuel in? No. You didn't put any extra fuel in. Oh, you're no. being marginal by oh. every race. No, I'm still 1.7. I'm on 1.7 as well. And I've been on that since the beginning of the race. Oh. How? You obviously a lot better fuel management than I am. Yeah. Like I say, me and David crammed a couple of extra bits of fuel in. Mm. It could be a one-two-three on the podium, though. Don't say it! 
It could be. I said could be. I didn't say definitely. Don't say it. Quick, find a piece of wood and touch it. And not that one. <laughs> My feet are touching the floor. And it's laminated <laughs> wood. So, touched it. <laughs> Communicate on online servers. Yeah, I got that. We're down to 18 runners as well, that I know. Yeah, there was two out. No shit, Sherlock. That's my saying. You're right, it's diarrhea. <laughs> that was the other song, wasn't it? Oh. <laughs> Leave Abba out of this. What, I like Abba. <laughs> so, I have one of the comedians I think. You know, I did realise it was an acronym made up of the names of the four members. Yeah. The good job they weren't called Colin, Huma, Norma and Terry, <laughs> wasn't it? <laughs> <sighs> Please nobody work it out and comment that. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, a bit, bit, bit of a news for ya. What? Do you two ever used to watch Star Trek Generations? Um, oh yeah, I heard yes. one of the player guys not died today, didn't he? he? One of the guys did die, yes. Who? Yeah, I heard on the radio. Delta, oh, what was his name? It was the an Android when he's confused when he. What? Brent Spinner? Data. Oh. Data, I think it was. Fucking hell. No, no, what date? Uh, it was an odd name. It wasn't a name I recognised. I've got to say, I'm sure Brent Spinner's still alive. Because he was in, in he was in the Independence Day films. I'll have to uh, have a look. Hmm. <laughs> have you been? I really actually should go back and watch, uh, I don't know if you've been watching like His Dark Materials. I managed to catch one episode last night. No, I haven't seen any of it. It's a bit like, I'd say it's a bit like The Golden Compass. Like that sort of I film. I never saw that either. Mm. But it's not actually too bad. Oh, by the way, there's only three episodes of War of the Worlds. Just so you know. Yeah. The reviews I've heard, uh, well, reviews of people I know have not been positive, so... Well, I'm going to give it I'm a watch. I'm sort of humming and ah. No, I'm, I'm, I'm going to give it a watch and I'll make my own mind up. So, I was talking to today, went to try to sit down and watch that new Scorsese film. Three and a half hour long film. Which one? Whatever the new Scorsese is. He's got an odd name. I'm trying to remember and I'm blanking. Not Knives Out, is it? No. Could be. What, one with Daniel Craig in? Uh, no, it's that new one with De Niro and... Kind of trying to be like Goodfellas, but without the name. It's, it's not the... wasn't the one that got... No, I was going to say, it's not the one that got pulled off cinema because of all... No, the, that was that one, that was that gang one, wasn't it? Yeah, that's, that... <laughs> that actually looks really good, though. Yeah, but it's been pulled off... A lot of no, cinemas it's been, put, it's been put back in. Well, it'll probably certainly look into DVD and that, if you want to try the cinemas again. Because the reason they pulled it, especially in Birmingham, I think it was, yeah, cause it was because actually somebody went in with a lead pipe or something. With a machete. It was, oh, a, a, machete. It was a machete. I mean, I don't blame them for pulling it, to be honest. I was going to say, don't blame them for with a machete then. I was like, what, I know the price of popcorn's a bit much, but that's extreme. <laughs> I got, I didn't, I missed my uh, talking fuel gauge then. I've got five laps. It's all fine. Yeah, I have. Well, it's been a good night of racing for me, if nothing else. A good two episodes, I should say. Well, yeah, it's been a good two episodes where people don't have to actually sit there and watch 
don't have to look at the screen and watch the uh, racing. What do you mean, Alan did? <laughs> yeah, but that's where no. Yeah, but you know what I mean. Stream wise side. <laughs> Apart from that little technical hiccup at the beginning. But that wasn't our fault, really. I'm just glad he didn't sort of say throw the to him and jump back as if it didn't happen. <laughs> wow, I've got like four back markers in front of me having a right royal rumble. How do you think I felt in um, last race? Yeah, but the thing is, I've got blue flags to try now, but it's not really helping because they're that tied up in each other. Yeah, they don't move. Apparently I'm five tenths a lap faster than Alan, I'll take that as good news. <laughs> it's funny though, during a race you can't turn your engine mode up to max. But well, you can you... use max, you can use rich. Yeah, but you can't use max. But you get max no, in qualifying. No, no only, only car 33 gets that function. <laughs> that took you a while. <laughs> Tell you one movie I do want to watch, though, is um, I want to watch Fifth Element again. Only I've seen that actually. You've never seen you've, really? Really? Oh, okay. I don't care. There's only one film I want to watch this Christmas. Polar Express. Nope. Oh, okay. Die Hard. <laughs> Which one? The first one, of course. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Hmm. Well, I mean, the only sort of real Christmas movie I really like is National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation. But... Mm. That's only for that scene where he puts the stuff on the bottom of the sledge and goes off down the hill at about Mac 3. <laughs> Straight through the shed. <laughs> well, they said, turn around and said that Die Hard is actually one of the best Christmas films they've ever seen. A lot of people have ever seen. And they're only associated with Christmas. It's just funny. I just think it's brilliant. Mm. Now I have a machine gun. But it's Alan Rickman with a slight German accent. It just... I don't know. <laughs> Nearly as bad as uh, John Malkovich's French accent oh, in Johnny English. Oh, that's fucking awful. <laughs> that is bad. <laughs> Johnny English, I am a uh, gobsmacked. <laughs> <laughs> I know we've had this discussion quite well, a few times a bit, oh, yeah, remember, yeah. <laughs> but it's, it's true though oh his his accent in that in Johnny English is just awful so it's up there if you've seen a film called The Jackal with Jack Black and Richard Gann Bruce Willis again yes, ironically. yes. In the, yeah it's Richard, in The Jackal Richard Gere does this Irish accent <laughs> one of the most horrible <laughs> <laughs> it's bad oh, it's... It's, actually, it's actually a really good film it's a good film apart from that. Yeah. Uh, I do, there is a film I do want to watch though. And it has to be... Uh, Pick a Destiny. Oh yeah, oh, have yeah. you ever seen that? Yeah. Brilliant. Yeah, I love it. Worth it for the fact they got Meatloaf to play like a religious... <laughs> yeah. You know, of all the people, Meatloaf. Well, they've got Dave Grohl to play the bloody devil. Aye. Oh, yeah. I wrote the Primordial Radio played a couple of songs from the film the other night. <laughs> of what? From Pig of Destiny. Mm -hmm. They played Which the one? song when they do um, the uh, rock off. Beelzebos. Is that what I've done on my I name? I think, yeah, I think it's Beelzebos. Although I'll give him credit as well because he also played the one Christmas song worth listening to. Which is Corey, Corey Taylor's Xmas, not no. the radio edit. Yeah. What is it purely for the line, fa la 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 la, go fuck yourself? <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I don't know, I want to go back and watch like Little Nicky as well. That was good. Just for the fact that it's. I mean, it's got, what, is it Quentin? 
Quentin Tarantino as the blind preacher. Um. Man, if it's a Tarantino, you know it's going to be a good film. Oh, it's no, it's weird, actually, it's actually it... an Adam Sandler film. He's in it, oh, it's right. Adam Sandler. Yeah, but Tarantino was normally in <laughs> Wanker. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Tarantino's right, normally... Right, all aboard the Christmas mobile. <laughs> Tarantino normally writes his own stuff. Yeah, but he's normally in every film. What How are we going to do that? it? 127. Summit. Well, what did you do then? Nah, no one near. I actually didn't intend to do that, I'm sorry. <laughs> Chris is like two corners away. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he can do it. I don't know, we've watched him crash out on the last corner before today. Bloody no, a goes, one, two, goes. three. Yay! Our little boy's all grown up. <laughs> I think that's his I'm... first podium in like two seasons, isn't it? Isn't it? I it think... is for the. It is for this game. No, I did have six... <coughs> in last last year. I did have. What did you? Yeah, last season I did. Oh look, we must be teammates. <laughs> <laughs> Three Brits as well. <laughs> Well, it's been a good nice racing for me. Well, I'm finally happy I got a podium. You got some points. Yeah, good air. It's your first points of the season. Yeah. So, I don't why it gave me two. What, you got, you did get two penalties, didn't you? It's given me exceeding track limits and two corner cuttings. It's the only warnings I've had, and it was six seconds. I've had a couple of, yeah, you got corner. You got, you got two three second corner cuttings you on got, lap 11. Yeah, you yeah. did. You got two on but lap 11. you look at David's, you got a warning for corner cutting, mm. warning for exceeded track limits, a warning for corner cutting, then he got a three second penalty, then he got another corner cutting. <laughs> yeah, that's more warnings. for warnings. But I, I didn't get a warning. No. Well, wow, look at that, that's that Martin saying. Giles finished eight taxi made two pit stops. Wow, two guys at the back on never changed tyres. Yeah, by looks of it. Oh, they were DNFs, weren't they? Yeah. I was going to say, the game was... But, to start in 12th... ...and finish where I did, that's pretty good. For you, yes. Yeah. Let's well, be honest, Chris, to finish for you is pretty good. Yeah. Well, at least I didn't get time penalties, actually, in this race, mm. so... Yeah, but at least I was far enough ahead, they didn't matter. Yeah, well. Same here. <laughs> Ooh. See what that's done to the championship. Mm. Oh! Ho, ho, ho. What's it done to the championship? Oh. Eight points oh. difference. Oh. And Chris is up to 12th. Yeah, well, Austria could be interesting for you two then, couldn't it? Oh, I love the Austrian track. It's been one of my all-time well, greatest achievements. Anyways, guys and girls, we're actually going to end it here. So, yeah, thank you for joining us. Don't forget to like and subscribe. All the links will be in the description. And we shall see you next time. So until then... Adios, amigos. So long and thanks for all the fish. Goodbye for now.